All right, welcome out to the show, everybody. Y'all ready to have a good time tonight? Hello. Let me hear ya. All right. Great to see everybody from all over the world. We got uh, folks watching from everywhere, and uh, we got a lot of great requests tonight. Let's get it started right now with Mr. Wade Bernard. Wade, what you going to do to start the night off tonight? Ronnie Dean, we've got a request for this song, and... Uh, so let's give it a shot, all right? It's, uh, I've heard of this guy before. Elvis, I believe. Yeah, Costello. Yeah, Elvis Costello. Yeah. <laughs> a very old friend came by today. He was telling everyone in town all the love that he had found And the reasoning of his latest flame We talked and talked And I heard him say That she had the longest, blackest hair Prettiest green eyes anywhere And the reasoning of his latest flame Though I smiled, the tears inside were burning I wished him luck, then he said goodbye but He was gone, but still his words kept returning but What else was there for me to do but cry? Or would you believe, yesterday This girl was in my arms and swore to me She'd be mine eternally And the reason name Of his latest flame Though I smiled, the tears inside were burning Well, I wished him luck and then he said goodbye Well, he was gone, but still his words kept returning How what else was left for me to do but cry? Oh, would you believe yesterday This girl was in my arms and swore to me She'd be mine eternally And the reason name of his latest flame Give yeah, my reason name of his latest flame Thank you, thank you. Mr. Wade Bernard. Steve, you yeah. want to do a song tonight? I had a lot of requests to uh, do a Floyd Kramer number tonight, Ronnie Dean. We'll send this out to table number 37. From Floyd Kramer, a song that was in the charts for 42 weeks. It's a big uh, dance. You can dance on this song. Slow dance, Ronnie Dean. Yeah. Maybe we can get some dancers up here. A song called Last Date.
Steve Shepard from his brand new CD. Last day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage from Nashville, Tennessee, Mr. Ronnie McDowell, live and in color. On a Saturday night here in Red Boiling Springs, last night was unbelievable. We had a good time. My friend Jim Ritz was here uh, along with some other wonderful folks, and Jim was on Happy Days. He was the Grinch in uh, the latest Grinch movie. No, he was uh, the Mad Hatter, wasn't the he? Big, the guy with the big hat, and he yeah. was in that movie, that union movie from Detroit. Big movie where he was a union man speaking out against the manufacturer. He was. He was in Splash. He was in Apollo 13. Yeah. Apollo 13. And Jim uh, produced the, the music for that movie I did with Kurt Russell. <laughs> and that girl over there, she goes, hey, Ronnie, uh, that's Elvis there. And I said, nope, that's Kurt Russell portraying Elvis Presley, a movie that we did back in 1978. So right now, Ronnie Dean, he told me today, he said, Dad, we got all kind of requests. And I That's said, right. okay, so what you got, Ronnie Dean? Well, the first thing, uh, we have some birthdays tonight. Uh, so let me find the birthdays here. Uh, Katana, Katana is two years old. And it's Becky McBunch's granddaughter, Katana. Katana. And also, also, if you could wish Sybil Wardlaw a happy birthday, it's Sherry, uh, let's see, Durham's sister. So you've got Katana, who is two, and Sybil. Okay, well, happy birthday to all of you, especially the two-year-old. Last week, we had a seven-year-old here, and she was standing right over there, and she goes, Mr. Ronnie, can I sing my favorite all-time song? I said, yes, you can. I said, what do you want to sing? She goes, older women make better lovers. <laughs> and she did good on that, too. Yeah. Sang the whole second verse, yeah. She, and what was amazing is that she was totally in pitch. She sounded wonderful. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, it's not... Normal, uh, every Friday or Saturday, we get a seven-year-old that wants to sing Older Women Make Better Lovers. <laughs> but just before that, not too long ago, we were in um, Missouri. Uh, Missouri, and all these kids were dancing in front of the stage, and they asked if they could come on stage. And I said, sure. Well, this little uh, seven-year-old boy, he come up to me. He said, Mr. Ronnie, can I do the worm? <laughs> I said, Okay, what is the worm? I didn't know what it was. He said, I'll show you. So he went back across the stage, and then he come back. He did it four times, and on the fifth time, he stood up right in front of the me and the microphone. He goes, I'm wore out. <laughs> Seven years old. So anyway, I love entertaining kids. And uh, uh, the other night, uh, last weekend, we were in Charleston, and we had 12 kids, again, that got up on stage, ages from 2 to 14, 15. That's right. And they were all by the same mama. And she was there, and she was only 38. Golly. 38 with a bullet. <laughs> I'm telling you. Boy, she believed that uh, passage in the Bible, be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> yes. Well, and that's all right. So uh, I'm from a family of 11. My mama believed the same thing. <laughs> so... Uh, right, Dane, what you got? Hey, Dad, let's do one of your songs right now. All right, let's do it. And I tell you what. Hey, by uh, the way, Ryan Dane, not to interrupt, yep. we got my buddy Doug Phelps, his wife here, and mama-in-law. Oh, yeah. And they're here tonight sitting right here at this table, and hey, they came know. from, uh, y'all told me you came from another show? Uh, who, who, who? Riley, American Idol. Uh, Riley, American Idol, and... Uh, but he, was that today? Y'all did that today? Hey, last the night. The Josie Awards. Last night, the Headhunters played live on stage in Hendersonville, oh, Tennessee. Oh, I know. Uh, and I saw rocked Doug. their world, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I saw Doug on TV, and he was advertising for the Pig Awards or something. Yeah. No, it's Pig, Pig Fest. Fest. Pig Fest, yeah. Right there in Hendersonville at Veterans Memorial Park. That's right. 
So anyway, I'm glad to have y'all here tonight, and thank you for coming. I've got, I've got a gift for them that I will share with them later, and uh, that will be table number 47 tonight. Okay? All right, number 47. All right, here we go on a Saturday night in Red Bowling Springs. How about this song right here, Dad, for Let's do it. Uh, Marie Carol Bates. I hope I'm saying that name right. Okay, hi, Marie. They want to hear personally, if you don't mind. All right. We're bringing it to you personally tonight. 1985 sounded like this for me and the boys. You were there. 1985. How old were you then? I've been writing letters every day now since you've been gone. You know what else? I've been talking to you on the telephone. I know for what seems like a whole lot long. I got something to give you. Ain't no way the mailman can deliver. I can't mail it in. I can't phone it. I can't send it in Even by your next of kin I'm bringing it to you Personally, personally, personally yeah, yeah. I'm bringing it to you Personally, personally, personally yeah, yeah. There's nothing like the feeling I get when you touch me Nothing in the whole wide world like it, honey. There's nothing like the feeling you get when we're all alone and we're there with each other. I've got something to give you that the mailman can't deliver. I can't mail it in, I can't phone it in, I can't send it in. tonight in Red Ball and Spring at the beautiful Donahoe Hotel. Thank you all very much. Now, what you got next, Ryan Dane? Wow. I tell you what, this crowd out here seems like they're ready to have a good time. I'm here to have a ball. Last night, somebody said, you never sing just out of reach anymore. And I oh, said, yeah. bye, George, we'll do it tonight. Let's do it right now. And then some lady over there, she goes, did you ever meet Tom Jones? And I said, I sure did. And uh, she said, do you do a Tom Jones song? And I said, well, he never does none of mine. I'm just kidding. But I told her, I said, I'll do you a Tom Jones song tonight. Just out Delilah. But right now, here's this song right here. I love this song. It's just out of reach of my two empty arms. I love this song. Let's bring it down just a notch. Okay. Love this song. One, two, three. Away from me Dreams that just won't let me be Blues that keep on bothering me Chains that just won't 
set me free Too far away from you And all your charms Just out of reach of mine To empty I see your face Memories time cannot erase Then I'll wake and find you gone Then I'm so blue and all alone Too far away from lips so sweet and warm Just out of reach of my to empty arms Just out of reach of my to empty That a great song. All right, now. Hey, what you Dad. Got? Let's bring it back up. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Guess what? What? Says uh, Eva Roberts is watching. Eva says, "R.D., would you ask your dad to do Blueberry Hill for Boyd? He did this at Warsaw, Missouri, 21 years ago, just after we were married." Eva Roberts wants to hear Blueberry Hill. You sang it uh, to Boyd uh, at Warsaw, Missouri, 21 years ago. Well, by George, let's do a little of it tonight then for Boyd. And thank you for coming and come to see us at the beautiful Donahoe Hotel in Red Bull and Spring. I found my three on Blueberry Hill. Do it, baby. On Blueberry Hill Where I found you The moon stood still On Blueberry Hill For you are my thrill All To be, though we're apart, you're part of me still, or I say my steel, for oh, you are my thrill. For Boyd. You know what I love about what we're doing here? Because we never know what we're going to do. We do songs like we ain't. I don't even remember the last time I sang that song, but I love it, though. Uh, everybody's been wanting to hear this song uh, that I just did not long ago. From 1956, written by Lieber and Stoller. This song is called Lucky Lips. Oh, yeah. Hey, song. Dad, let me announce who all wants to hear this. Okay, go of course, ahead. This is, this I'm going to turn my collar up because no. it's 1956. Hey. This isn't everybody that wants to hear it because there were so many names, but let me just tell you a few right now. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We got Bonnie Stewart. Hi, Bonnie. Shirley Sleeper. Hi, Shirley. <laughs> P. 
Pamela Purdue. Hey, Pam, I they wrote call, a song about you one night. It's called Tonight I'm Cooking with Pam. All right, yeah. who's next? And uh, they call themselves uh, Ronnie's Georgia, Florida Girls. Uh -oh. And right. uh, also Jane Dean Barnes. Jane Dean Barnes. Uh, Kathy Hawkins. Kathy Hawkins. And Roma McBride. Hey, we Roma. call those girls the Georgia Gang. That's right. The Georgia Gang. All right, let's do it. Uh, I hope go. I can remember the words because we haven't done two, it in a while, but if one, I don't, two, you're not going to know it anyway. When I was just a baby, I didn't have me a toy. Mama always told me, you got more than the other boys. Now you may not be good looking, and you may not be too rich, but you'll never ever be alone, cause you got lucky lips. Lucky lips are always kissing, lucky lips are never blue. Lucky lips will always find a pair of lips that will be true. I don't need a poorly clover, rabbit's foot, or a good luck charm. With lucky lips, you'll always have a baby in your arms. I love you girls dancing. Wow, we got some good dancers out here tonight. John, what you got, brother John? Come on up. We love it when John comes here up comes because John. he has a tip for here the band. Here comes John. Here comes John. Now, John, last night, last night the tips were kind of low. So we, we said, by George, Saturday night, we're going to kick them in gear tonight. We got to get it going. Got two, brother. We got John. a good start. What you got in Georgia? Georgia. Lynn and Sandy Roper are watching. Oh, hey, I they love the band a hundred dollars. Oh, thank y'all. I love y'all. Thank you. They always do that, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you, Lynn and Sandy, and in house tonight. They roam from one end of the United States to the other. Tammy and Richard Cole. Has tipped the band $125. Whoa, thank you. She got gave a tip. We gave her a gift, one of your bracelets. Yeah, I wasn't going to get rid of that because I love that. But uh, you got it. It's yours. All right. Don't forget, we got this colored poster of Ronnie with a microphone in his hand singing to the moms <laughs> for a successful season with them. <laughs> hey, the first five callers that would tip $25 or more, Catherine will send you one of these posters as a gift. We only have five, the first five callers. $25 tip, 615-699-3141. And as Ronnie said, we had a rough tip night last night. Let's give this band what they deserve. We got a lot of people watching. 
please open your pocketbook and call Catherine at 615-699-3141. That's right, because John has a 25-pound baby at home that needs cigarettes. <laughs> no, no, that's Steve. <laughs> oh, that's Steve, that's right. <laughs> Hey, by the way, John, don't forget, we got uh, me and Conway over there. That's, that's coming up. And also me and Dick Clark when I was on American Bandstand. So if you'd like to have one of these, just call John and let him know. And by the way, it will be yours, and I promise I will sign it. But right now, right hey, now. Hey, Dad, what would you, you do a song for Sandra, Sandra Singleton? Okay. She wants to hear a song called I'm Still Missing You. Okay, I'll do just a little of it. And by the way, uh, Doug and all the boys played on this song back in the 80s. This uh, song had three absolutely wonderful writers on this song. <laughs> and one of them is you. Had Mr. Ronnie McDowell and Mr. Joe Metter and Mr. Steve Shepard wrote this song. <laughs> and by the way, this is Steve Shepard. <laughs> He's a wonderful writer, by hey. the way. <laughs> All right, just a little of it, Steve. One, <laughs> two, three. And then he's going to do you a special song. I still miss seeing you. I still miss seeing you. Don't know what else to do. Since I've lost your love, it's true, I'm still missing you. Yes, I'm still missing you. Nineteen eighty-seven. Nineteen eighty-seven. That just seems like the other day. Where does the time go? Everything is so temporary, Ronnie. That so was enjoy the... every second, like me. I, I, I yeah. swear to y'all, I live for every frigging second. You know that was the album Sorry about title the cut with that a hit we had with Jerry Conway Lewis. and Conway. Make believe. That's right. But right hey, now, Dad, Ryan, how, hey, about, how about a song, a little dancing song? Tonight? Oh, because oh, no. we got some dancers out here. We got some out dancers we out there. We got a bell bottom like. girl out here tonight. Yeah, just like uh, for this song right here that you did. Uh, no way. We can't do no From a great movie uh, uh -oh. what called was it? Animal House. Diane Dickens is watching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diane Dickens loves Shamalama Ding Dong. Baby. I know. That's kind of a naughty saying, song, but. We're going to do it. It's called Shamalama Ding Dong. It's about a bell, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I know what that meant when I was a little boy. But anyway, right now. It's a funky here we go little band. Shamalama Ding Dong. Two. Come on, girls. Come on. If I searched this whole wide world, I'd never, never, never find me a girl who'd love me the way that you do. You put the shamalama, baby, shamalama, ding on. That is my child. Yeah. That is why. That is why. That is why. That is why. You are my sugar daddy. And this love, this love we share, is stronger than the others. No one can compare. Yeah. That is why. That is why. That is why. That is why. You are my 
But tonight I feel like dancing. I, something is shook loose or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Do what? Man, that was excellent. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with me tonight. I feel good. <laughs> Man, that was excellent. Those those dancers, wow. Unbelievable. We're going to have to get them back up after a while. We should write a song like that. I feel good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many stumps here tonight, actually. All right, see if you can stump me, Ronnie Dean. I love the stump part of the show oh, because I want to see if I'm getting dementia. Everybody <laughs> says, oh, Lord, let's see but what's I going on. I tell here. you. <laughs> hey, Dad, would you sing just a little bit of a song for Linda Dixon? She Linda. wants to hear Soulmates. Soulmates. Wow. I wrote that when Hitler was a corporal. When Moby Dick was a mentor. <laughs> Soulmates. Hear me. Soulmates. That's an old one. Wow. You're my soulmate. That's all I know. You're my soulmate. I swear that's all I know. Is that the words? Yeah, that I mean. I swear that's, that's all I words. know. Wow. Hey, hey Dad, here's all, another stuff. I wrote stuff. it, but I don't remember it. Just, uh, just a tad of it. Hey, Donna Summers is watching. Donna Summers, the dancer. Yes. Donna Summers. Yeah, she wants to hear. She called me baby. Yeah. Oh, she called me baby. Man, yeah, that's a good. Well, Wade knows that song. Oh, do it, Wade. Do it. She called me baby all night long. I wonder why. <laughs> there was a reason for that. Cooking why pancakes. Why was she calling me baby all night long? Cooking pancakes. I don't think it was the pancakes. She called me baby, baby, all night long. Oh, yeah, baby. Used to hold and kiss me. Till the dawn Sing it, Wade Then one day I woke She was gone There's no more baby, 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 baby all, all night long Sing it, Wade She called me baby, 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 baby All night long I like your bell bottoms used to hold and kiss And nice shoes Till the dawn Yeah, what I'd give Do it, baby If I could have her back home Yeah, honey And call me baby, baby, baby All night long Hey, whatever you're drinking, I won't tell you Call me baby, baby All night long Pancakes. And now it's time for Steve Shepard to sing his signature song off of his gospel album. It's called, I Don't Look Good Naked Anymore. We had several requests for that last night. Uh, you didn't do it last Mr. night. I didn't do it correctly. I got all excited and uh, I was thinking what that doctor told me, Ronnie, and I was going to tell you. You know how you always say, man, I love these stumps. Well, about seven years ago, I was laying on that table, and uh, that doctor said, Well, Mr. Shepard, if this hip transplant don't go well, you'll be all right. I'm going to leave you with a stump. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Golly. well, here's Steve. But anyway, he did that doggone hip transplant, and 
long as I uh, spray on a little WD-40 down there and chase it with some uh, good old Sprite three or four times a day, well, I can still shake it every now and then. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. This was on my gospel album back in 1971, and we decided to bring it back especially for Mr. Ronnie McDowell. A good friend of Greg Martin's wrote this song. That's right. That's right. So we'll do it tonight for you. We're going to send it out especially to table number 27. <laughs> table number 27. That's this right. is for you. Table number 27. And the girl in the bell bottoms. No, that's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all clap your hands. I don't look good naked anymore. Everything that pointed up is pointing toward the floor. The doctor came to my room and he said, Mr. Shepherd, you don't look good naked anymore. <laughs> I don't look good naked anymore. Classic. Number one classic from Steve Shepherd. Hey, you know the same writer uh, wrote that song, Ronnie, that uh, Greg Martin used to have you do all the time. What was that? Uh, it was a freak. great song. Uh, it, it went... Hey Johnny, Johnny Cash, I'm a moving, my moving, I'm a moving to Nashville, yeah. Would you help me be a country star? <laughs> hey, that was Russell Helms. Russell, Russell Helms, Russell wrote, that. Helms yes. wrote that. Hey, Dad. He also wrote, "She's a good old heifer, and that ain't no bull." She's a good old heifer, and that it ain't, ain't no bull. bull. And she won't steer you wrong. He was from mm. Hill, he was from Hill to Brand, North Carolina. Mm. Hey, now, Dad, guess what? Here's one of Greg a, Martin's favorite artist, Ronnie. Here's a serious song right now. Okay, but before we do that, but before Brother John's that, got a tip. Come on oh, up here, John. John. We're gonna do the John song. Y'all clap your hands. This He's is got the, a tip for the band. This is the John song. He's got a ring full of papers. Jim. 615-699-3141. Y'all call in. John, now this tip ain't get off the band, get off the stage band. Is it? Oh, <laughs> what is not the yet. tip? We're working on one of them. All right, from Tampa, Florida, watching down in Tampa. Love Tampa. Nathan I love Tampa, Rowe. Florida. Nathan Rowe has tipped the band $25. Thank, Thank you, you, Nathan. Thank you. Thank you. All Nathan wanted for that $25 tip was you to say hi to him. Nathan, hi, buddy. And I love Tampa, Florida. We'll be there in April, I think. Yeah, the, down at the Villages at the uh, Weirsdale friend. Farmers Opera. Yeah. Yep. So I'm come impressed. And see us, I'm impressed you remembered that date. I didn't remember the date. Why do y'all think of Ronnie's new couch over there? Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, that, that's I a I caught long, him sleeping on it this afternoon. That's a long way from the bench. All right, in-house tip. Kathy Roper has tipped the band $30 tonight. Where is Kathy? Thank you, Miss Kathy. Kathy, I love you, baby. 615-699-3141. Let's talk about a tip for a poster of Ronnie and Dick Clark. Ronnie and Conway. Let's get some good tips in tonight. We got or Elvis in front of the Donahoe. And That's what's up favorite. there? Uh, that's me and Conway Twitty. Okay. And I'd give anything if I knew what we were laughing about. But I don't remember. But uh, what a mentor, an icon, and a friend. And my second dad. And that's the God's truth. Conway Twitty. As a matter of fact, we're going to do that next. Yes. Okay. Let's give us about a dozen tips in here. 615-699-3141. Thank you, John, and thank you all. And here's, speaking of Conway, here's me, Conway Twitty, and the Kentucky Headhunters That's doing right. this song. They hey, did, Dad. They did all the music and the harmony. Me and Conway, we just sang on the record. Yes. Hey, Dad, if you don't mind, let's do this tonight for Beverly uh, McCalick. I hope I'm saying that right. 
Hi, for her anniversary is today. Happy anniversary. And she loves this song. Happy well, this is for you, darling. Here's me and my friend Conway Twitty. And it doesn't get any better than Hello, darling. People see us everywhere. They think you really care. Myself, I can't deceive. I know it's only make believe. My one and only prayer is that someday you'll care. My only prayer will be well, someday, someday you care for me, me but it's all. So my dreams come true My life I'd give for you But this heart, a wedding ring My all, everything You rule my very soul My heart, I can't control My only prayer will be Someday you care for me But it's all Conway Twitty My one and only prayer Is that someday you care My hopes, my dream come true My one and only you No one will ever know Sing it, Conway How much I love you so don't get no better than that, y'all. I'm telling you. It don't get no better than my buddy Conway Twitty. Hey, Dad. Yes. Can we slow it down just a little bit? Slow it down. What we got? With a song that uh, Connie Burnett wants to hear. Okay, Connie. What? And also, okay. uh, another uh, wonderful person wants to hear this. Okay. Let me scroll down to see where they are. What is it? And, uh, well, I can't find the other person, but they want to hear... Somebody hold me. Oh. Now that's intense. Yes. I mean intense. You can actually see this happening. This is the last song I sang on the Grand Ole Opry, by the way. Little Jimmy Dickens introduced me, and I wouldn't take anything for that. And little Jimmy said, it's been, let me tell you, I walked by his dressing room, and he goes, hey, come in here. So I went, <laughs> he said, hey, where you been lately? I said, well, Jimmy, I've been to Wisconsin. He said, well, I was in Wisconsin not long ago. I said, you were? He said, yeah, the curtain opened up and there was one guy on the front row. I said, what? And he said, yeah. And I said, hey, where's all the people? And that guy goes, damn, if I know I'm a janitor. Get this over with so I can go home. <laughs> True story. <laughs> But anyway, this song paints a picture, I'm telling you. It really does, and it's really intense, and you can see this happening. This guy loves this girl so much, but she's marrying another dude. Well, you know what I would have said to him? Get you a damn dog. You'll be a lot happier. <laughs> a dog is a man's best friend. I don't care what. If you put, if you, if you put your ex-girlfriend, Steve, and a dog in a car trunk on a 90 degree day. You leave them in there for 30 minutes, you want my trunk, who's glad to see you? <laughs> the dog. <laughs> who's gonna kill you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, hey Jack. Hey, you can't say this on an airplane. Hi Jack. <laughs> <laughs> hey Claude. Hey Eddie. Hey, y'all come in and sit down and enjoy the show. We're having a ball here tonight. That's and right. uh, 
We truly are. So y'all come in and have a seat. But right now, here's this unbelievable, passionate song. This guy, I mean, he's standing there and he is so distraught because he's so madly in love with this girl. She's marrying somebody else. Well, here he goes. You got it. Here he goes. Three, four, Three, four one. Here she comes And just look at the way she's smiling Lord, I wish I had somewhere to hide I didn't mean for her to see Somebody hold me until she passes by. She's closer now. I've never seen her look that lovely. But she always did look good in white She'll be his in a minute now And it's killed me Somebody hold me until she passed I hear the music playing Here comes the bride I'm losing her forever And she'll never be mine She is, I want to touch her so bad I could die Somebody hold me until she passes by I've come to say goodbye, but I wish it was me Standing by her side Somebody hold me Until she passes by I feel for that boy. You know why? Because third day in Vietnam. I'm a proud three-term combat veteran of the Vietnam War. Third day in Vietnam. Third day. I got a Dear John letter from a girlfriend. And to make matters worse, she signed it, Dear John. My mama says I should see other people. Broke my ever-loving soul. And that's the God's truth. But we're friends now. I had lunch with her not long ago. I said, can I ask you something? She goes, I know what you're going to ask me. I said, why did you do that to me? She goes, I have regretted that every day of my life. And I said, you damn well should. <laughs> and she, then she proceeded to tell me this. Oh, by the way, next week I have to have a hip replacement. And I said, how the hell did you get old enough to have a hip replacement? She goes, because I'm two years younger than your ass. That's why. Oh, by the way, ass is a donkey. Yeah, you have a uh, you have our I pet have a donkey, right to though. say ass on TV. Hey, where is our uh, donkey at? He's right here. Yeah, we so, can't see him on the screen there. Oh, pick, let me pick, pick, him, pick him, up. him up if you will. 
There's our donkey, our so mascot. I'm allowed to say ass because that's a donkey, <laughs> believe it or not. For Facebook fact checkers. Hey, Dad. Yes. I tell you what, uh, before we take a short, short break, uh, hey, folks, are you enjoying the show tonight? Me too. All right, let's hear you just a little bit louder. Are you enjoying the show? Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, folks, all over the world, thanks for joining us. Uh, over 5 million views for these shows now. Yes. We're very blessed. We appreciate it. Uh, if you're enjoying the show tonight, please call in right now and tip the band, 615-699-3141. That's how we keep these shows a rolling here at the That's Donahoe. right. And if you don't tip the yeah. band by, George, I ain't coming back here no more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the band needs money, I'm telling you. Hey. Steve, tell them why you need money. Oh, well, we Ronnie, I've got a 136-pound baby at home <laughs> that needs milk and cigarettes. <laughs> and Wade, tell them why you need money. Mine needs crawfish and shrimp. And <laughs> it's gotten expensive. That's right, because he's a Louisiana man. <laughs> Lobster tail. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Alligator. I tell you what, uh, thanks to everyone for joining us in all seriousness. It's been a great weekend so far. And don't forget Halloween weekend next weekend. Uh, yes. It's a full house uh, in the hotel. It's going to be great. We're going to have a great time. I tell you what, uh, sold out hotel. It's going to be fun. And uh, we are going to be in Pennsylvania next month, so make sure you join us there. Go to RonnieMcDowell.com for all the latest tour information. Like I always say, uh, we'll be in Pennsylvania next month, and we're going to be in Michigan next month. we got four days in a row in Michigan. It's going to yep. be great. And, and we're going to be right here at home base. And, Dad, i tell you what, before we uh, take a short break for the band, uh, take a little breather, could you do a couple of more stumps? Because tonight is stump night. I've had more stump songs tonight than ever on these shows. Okay, well, next week I'm going to be Zorro again. I like Zorro. Zorro. Zit, zit, zit. I'm going to be Zorro. Zorro. Yeah. What are you going to be? Was, uh, was that that guy that had that sword? Yeah, I just did it. <laughs> zit, zit, zit. Yeah, and that curtain would split the wide Z. open. Yeah. Oh, man. That's... What are you going to be? Well, I've thought about dressing up like one of these ladies at this club right here. Nobody can hear you, Oh, Steve. the Stardust. Oh, there you go. Oh, Stardust, Stardust Hotel in <laughs> Lido of Paris. Well, that's girls, though, Steve. Yeah, you going to dress like one of those girls? I can, maybe. I can. <laughs> He's got a titanium <laughs> hip. I'm going to be honest with you, Steve. If you dress like one of them women, you're fired. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, I think I I'm going to be. I dress as a pit boss. <laughs> I think I'm going to be, uh, let's see, uh, James Arness. I'm on. Uh, James? Uh, no, no. Uh, John Paul and, and uh, Sandy. Sandy are getting married here uh, next week, and I'm going to give Sandy away. On Saturday afternoon. On Saturday, right? and it's going to be so fun. Uh, Ryan Dane, what are you going to be? I think I'm going to be Matt Dillon. Is that all right? That's fine. Uh, no. Wade, what are you going to be? Yeah. John oh, it's going to be a surprise. I'm telling oh, you. a surprise. He's going to dress right. up as a big pumpkin. Hey, uh, let's take a little break right now, if you don't yeah. mind, and come back and do a stump or two. And then we'll do more music, some of my songs. Yeah. Hey, Whatever Dad, let's do, one, let's do one to close it out hey. right here. Well, the reason I said that is because i got to go to the bathroom. I, oh, drank, never... I drank four glasses of water before I got up here. <laughs> An electrolyte drink, so my bladder is going, please release me, let me go. <laughs> For I don't want you anymore. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, y'all having a good time. I told y'all this is improv as usual. This is like our 300th show out here. I tell you what, what a blessing it is to be here. Let's give John Cook and all the staff and management here at the Donahoe a big round of applause. He's Ronnie got D. some incredible employees here. They're doing a fabulous job, always taking care of the fans. And I tell you what, we have a great time. Uh, visit Ronnie Garen McDowell in the back of the auditorium. I'm going to text him, make sure he's back there right now, because Steve Shepard has his brand new CD available back there. And Wade has, has his CD available back in the back. And of course, Dad has all kinds of souvenirs available. And look at my hat, folks. Yeah. yeah. Who's your air transport back there? Thank you so much for my hat. You know, I have this, I have a great big head. 
So it's hard for hats to fit my head, and this hat is a great fitting hat. So yeah. thank you to the Hoosier Air Transport. I appreciate hats. Uh, thank you all for bringing those out. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll be back in about uh, four minutes and 56 seconds. So make sure you join us, share this live feed, hang out with us all over God's creation. I see folks from Ireland tonight watching, Australia's watching, all over Australia, and we've got some folks in Asia watching tonight. Great, man, thank you, and welcome out to the show. Welcome, everyone, to the Ronnie McDowell Fan Family. And we'll be right back here in just a minute. Don't go nowhere.
Wipeout. I don't know if I remember how to play that or not. All right, somebody requested Wipeout. Y'all want to hear? Let me let me let you guys decide. All right, y'all want to hear Wipeout or Margaritaville? Here we go. Wipeout. Margaritaville. All right, let's do Margaritaville. Wade, would you come up here and play the drums? Uh, we've had a request for Margaritaville. and uh, Was it paid? Uh, yeah, it was a paid request. <laughs> play us a little walking music, uh, Steve. for this song, Ronnie Dean. I tell you what, everybody likes Margaritaville. Hey, a little information for you on New Year's Eve night uh, and uh, New Year's Day. I guess uh, we're going to be here two nights. Uh, Doyle Grisham's going to be here with us. Jimmy Buffett's still guitar player. Yeah, and Johnny Rodriguez is going to be here with Dad. Uh, New Year's Eve, so y'all come and see us. Going to be a heck of a party. All right, let's do a little Margaritaville for all the folks that requested this. I haven't sang it in a while, so let's do it right now. Here we go. One, two, one, two, let's go. <laughs> Nibbling on sponge cake Watching the sun bake All of those tourists covered with oil And you, and you Strumming my six string On my front porch swing Smell of shrimp there beginning to boil Come on, sing loud and proud if you know the words. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. I can't hear you. Let's do it. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Your turn. Salt, salt, salt. That's right. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Well, I know. It's all these girls fought on the dance floor tonight, that's right. Don't know the reason I stayed here all season. Nothing is sure but this brand new tattoo. I don't have one actually. But it's a real beauty. Back there on Steve's booty How it got there He'll never tell us I don't know what the heck All right, here we go. Sing loud and proud Let's go Wasted away again In Margaritaville Y'all sounding good Let's go Searching for my Lost shaker of salt 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 Salt, salt. That's right some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Well, I guess that it's all Tegan and Dana's fault tonight. That's right, you know, Tegan. Play it, guys. Oh. Doesn't this make you want to go to the beach? Yeah. 
I blew out my flip flop Stepped on a pot top Cut my heel, had to cruise on back home But there's booze in the blender And John Cook will render those frozen concoctions that help us hang on. Hang, hang on, on, hang on, on baby, hang that's on. right. Wasted away again in Red Bowling Springs, baby, at the Donahoe. That's right. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. One more time. Some people claim that there's a Woman to blame Well I know That it's all Kathy Roper's fault I see you over there Yes and Some people claim That there's a Woman to blame Well I know It's my own dang fault I said dang Facebook fact checkers That's right All right. Thanks for going to the beach with me for a few minutes now. Please make welcome once again, Mr. Ronnie McDowell. Hey, wait a minute. That's your name. Yeah. Make welcome me. <laughs> Ronnie McDowell. Hey, it's good to be here at the beautiful Donahoe Hotel uh, where my dad came. I've told you all this a lot. But he came here a hundred years ago in 1922. A hundred years ago. Now, I'm not going to tell you why Dad came, but he was only 12 at the time. Why did he come here, Dad? Well, my grandfather was a rounder. Huh? And they would come here for two weeks. He round up cattle? No, my grandfather was a dapper Dan. <laughs> he sure was. He was the only child... And his uh, dad, my great-grandfather, went to the California Gold Rush. Now, let me, let me just tell you this story. He was gone for 15 years, and they thought he was dead. There was no communication. He had a girlfriend in Mitchellville, Tennessee, not too far from here. And he, she was 18. He was 21. And my great-grandfather gave him a horse for his birthday present. And he rode that horse all the way to California to get rich in the gold fields. He was gone for 15 years. Whew. So he came back and he accumulated $28,000 in gold. And he got off in New Orleans on a clipper ship and walked all the way back on the Natchez Trace wow. to Portland, Tennessee, walked in and dumped all that gold out in my great-grandmother's great lap. And... Uh, he was very wealthy. That equates to a million dollars in today's money. Well, he was spoiled rotten. The reason why is because the girl that he left behind had died with the lung fever. She married his best friend, and he died in the first skirmish in Franklin, Tennessee of the Civil War. They had a four-year-old daughter. He waited till she was 18 and married her, and that's my great granny, Georgia McDowell. And that was also my mother's name. So here's what I want to tell you. I just finished a novel about it. It's called The Fever. It's my first novel, and I can't wait till you read the exploits that he had. So anyway, I'm starting to be an author in a few years, a few months ago, I couldn't even spell author. Now I am one. But anyway, here's Brother John Cook. Hey, 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 what was you saying about your daddy? My dad came here uh, in 1922, 100 years ago, with my grandfather, my aunts and uncles, but we can, I can't tell you why my grandfather came over here. I'm not going to tell him that, well, John. I had the privilege in the late 80s of hanging out with Ronnie's daddy. Yep. With Tanya Tucker. And so I got it straight from the horse's mouth. He said, do you know why Ronnie likes to come to Red Bull and Springs all the time? <laughs> I said, no, sir, Mr. McDowell. 
He said, we used to come camping up here all the time. Ronnie was conceived on the Salt Lake <laughs> Creek down here. <laughs> True story. That's why Ronnie's so connected to us. Well, I guess, but, uh, all right. but History we, we won't tell him why my grandfather come over here. We'll but anyway, later, here we go. later. If you call in enough tips, we'll tell it. 615-699-3141. I know the story. Enough tips, you can buy me. Okay. <laughs> Kathy Grenade has tipped the band $25 tonight. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. The boys appreciate it. All the way from Cookville, Tennessee, in-house tonight. April Mast has tipped the band $100 Whoa, tonight. Whoa. Thank you, darling. Thank you, April. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And watching from Ohio tonight, our buddies, John and Dina Harris, have tipped the band $100 tonight. Oh, thank you, John and Dina. Thank you. So, you know, we have Tammy here that drives an 18-wheeler all over America. Yeah, which is absolutely amazing. And she drives from here to California and back. And I said, why in God's name do you do that? I wanted some me time last week, to, uh, two weeks ago, to go to West Virginia. I drove for seven hours in my car. And after I got back home, I went, I, went, I ain't doing that no more. So how in God's name... You drive from here to California and back constantly. And I said, how do you do that? She said, well, last year they paid me 460 grand. Good reason okay, I'm going to do what you're doing. <laughs> what time are we leaving in the morning? <laughs> hey, I, can, I got them co-driver papers. Okay, while Tammy was on the road somewhere, she stopped a few years ago. It still has the store tag on it. Tammy purchased the King Is Gone album. This is the first one that I've ever seen that we know was purchased at a store. Yeah, that's Wasn't cool. given to us by a record label. Wow. And she would like to donate this tonight for someone to tip the band and donate it to the kids for Christmas, correct? And thank you. So we have It's Never Been Opened, the King Has Gone album. It's got the sticker where it was purchased at a retail store. 615-699-3141. Please call Catherine, and I know she's working up a few more tips. Let's get this band caught up to even from last night and tonight on their tips. I know they're doing a wonderful show. 615-699-3141. You know, John, I still have that shirt hanging in my closet. And I have the guitar, too. That shirt is like this little. And I went, how the hell did I get in that? Hey, <laughs> if the tips are enough, we'll go get it out of his closet. I ain't getting rid of that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't sell that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, Ryan Dane, so what you got? Hey, Dan, I tell you what. Uh, would you mind doing a song that you did from the movie uh, Dirty Dancing no. for, for Diana Miller? Yes. But only if I have some dancers out there. And I understand that we have a husband out there that has agreed to be Patrick Swayze. Excellent. And he is going to take his wife and throw her up over his shoulder. Oh, cool. Just like Patrick Swayze did with Jennifer Grey in the lake. <laughs> Everybody's looking around like, who's that? <laughs> there he is right there. <laughs> it's all women out there <laughs> except one. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're the only dude. <laughs> He's looking around like, what? <laughs> well, anyway, so... From the movie Dirty Dancing comes this song off of my album. And by the way, this was Doug and Greg and, and Martin and all the boys on this album right here too. Unchained Melody and this song right here from the movie Dirty Dancing. But y'all got to come out here and act like Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. Kim, come on. One. Come on. It 
you'll know me And there's nothing But the smell of her perfume Hey, don't you feel like crying? Hey, by the way, right. this is Doug Phelps' wife of the Kentucky Headhunters, the bass player. Miss Kim. Kim. And I've known her since you were how old? <laughs> come on, come on, how old? No, long go ahead. Time. A long time. But uh, here's what's weird about this. She still looks just like she did when I first met her. That's she right. looks, still looks like a little kid. Oh, and, 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 Doug. Oh, I know. I know. Burt Reynolds. Yeah, I Jeff. know. Yeah, I know. Wow. And you're my, do you still have my blue guitar? Uh, Josh, Josh has it. Oh, you got, Josh has it. Wow. I love that. Cool. It's so good to see you. And is this girl a sexy dancer? Jennifer Gray ain't got nothing on you. I don't care right. what Doug says. All right. <laughs> All right, Ronnie Dean, what you got? And I'm telling you what. I don't know what it is, but I feel like dancing tonight. I feel like dancing. I feel like singing all these wonderful songs. I don't know what it is, but last night was wonderful, but tonight is even better. And if you don't tip this band, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> oh, you think I'm kidding, punk? I ain't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no hey, I'm Dad, I tell you what, uh, have y'all had a good time tonight or what? Man, I tell you, all those great dancers out there, and hey, Dad, can I stump you a couple of times? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I love that thing, that uh, big mask there. That's hilarious. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I tell you what. Um, I look so serious in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> let's do a song right now, if you don't mind. Uh, this is a, a little stump song here from uh, the band and I. And, uh, this is a song for Teresa Tabor. Hey, Teresa. Teresa Tabor. Wow, and somebody just actually asked for this song while I was talking. Uh, okay. Marilyn Watkins wants to hear uh, American Music. American Music. American. Okay, just a little of it. They're pulling right. them out of the hat. Hey, this is a stump. We're not going to do the whole thing. We'll do just a little of it. Hey. One, two, chart. American music. No, I love the rhythm and the way the guitar sounds. All around the world it goes, never gonna stop. No, I love American music. That's all I'm doing in that song. It's a stump. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, well, Dan, how about one more stuff? We can't do uh, the whole song because we need to get to the next one. We only get, what, two hours on Facebook or whatever? Uh, yeah, YouTube? yeah, something like that. But I tell you what, Brenda Smith is watching. Hi, Brenda. How are you, Brenda? She wants to stump you with a song called She's a Little Past 40. Uh, me and J.P. Pennington of Exile, if you remember. I want to kiss you all over. She's a little past 40. Oh, yeah. She's a little past 40. But a long way from over the hill, a little past 40. She's sensational still. She's not getting older, just better at giving a thrill. She's a little past 40, but a long way from over the hill. She ain't lost a thing. Her blue eyes still sparkling. Do it, baby. She's got the world by the wow, tail. Good She's still in her prime. She got her stuff together. All of her ducks in a row. <laughs> She's feeling way too young to worry about the big four. Here we go. Oh, She's a little past 40. from over the hill. Past 40. But she's sensational still. She's not getting older, just better at giving a thrill. She's a little past 40, but a long way from over the hill. Yo! Hey, is that true, girls? She is just a little, a little past 40. Somebody wanted to hear this, Steve, not to interrupt you, and this was song. a number one song for me and the boys, and it was called Oh, yeah, we've had a lot of requests for this. We hadn't done it a lot. What Folks can were. I do to keep you from leaving? I'll do anything to change your plan. If my love couldn't prove Oh, how much I love you. Well, maybe these teardrops can. I got a million of them to cry over you. I got a million of them, big puddles of blue. I got a million of them just waiting in line to fall when you're no a million of them it's only the first i got a million of them it's gonna get worse if you walk out that door well they'll hit the floor and i'll cry a million more hey All dad right. How about this song right here that Wanda DeVasher loves? It's okay. about ruining someone's bad reputation. And right after this, I promised this girl that I would do a Tom Jones song. Hey, let's do that too. So, but right now, here's a number one song in 1984. If you were around in 84, hold your hand up. Everybody. Now, there's some <laughs> liars out there. But anyway, 1984 sounded like this for me and the boys. You're gonna ruin my bad reputation. They say my crazy days are through. It's all over town, I'm settling down. Cause all I'm crazy about is you. I know the bartender down at the Starlight Lounge And he's wondering where I've been Every Saturday night he broke up the fights But sometimes he let me win He'd sure be shocked if he could see me Sipping iced tea and watching TV It's Saturday night and I'm taking it easy Home alone with you You're gonna ruin my bad reputation Be with the good love you're giving me I used to be a, a hell 
ranger, a heartbreaker, put loose and fancy free. You're gonna ruin my bad reputation. They say my crazy days are through. It's all the town I'm settling down. Cause all I'm crazy about is you. Oh, it's all the town I'm settling down. Cause all I'm crazy about is you. As I promised, the first time I met Tom Jones, I walked up to him and I said, Tom Jones. I said, wow, you're my second favorite singer. He goes, who the hell's your voice? He goes, I know who it is. I sat there and talked to Tom Jones for two hours. He told me some of the most interesting things. Most of them I cannot even begin to tell you, but anyway, when I was uh, 15, this song I heard, and I went, what a voice. You ready? All right, so I gotta get into this Tom Jones mode. Now this is a different mode from me. But anyway, let's do it. I saw the light on the night that I passed by her window I saw the flickering shadows of love on her plane She was my woman As she deceived me I watched and went out of my mind Anymore. At break of day when that man drove away I was waiting I crossed the street to her house She opened the door She stood there laughing I felt a knife in my hand she laughed no more. My, my, my Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah? So before they call to break down the door, forgive me, Delilah. I just couldn't take anymore. Just couldn't take it anymore. You gotta love Tom Jones. What are you talking about? Powerful voice. Doesn't he have a powerful voice? That gun. All right, so Ryan Dean, what you got? Whew. I'm out of breath. <laughs> That was intense, as you say. Hey, you Dad, think? we got I'll time what, for I about. I uh, stick my hands in my pockets and squeeze really hard on that last note. Oh That's boy, right. here we go. That is higher than a. You've heard of a cat's? That's higher than a giraffe's. But, but. Lord have mercy. <laughs> hey, Dad. Forget about the cat. Yeah. Hey, can we do a couple of Elvis tunes? Elvis. He never did none of mine. Not Elvis Costello. Kidding. Yeah, let's do it. What do you want to do? All right. Uh, there are some folks out there that really, 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 really want to hear you do a song like Deb Bowman. Hey, Debbie. Wants to hear a little In the Ghetto. All right. Just a little of it, though. Cause in the Ghetto. 
uh, written by my friend Mac Davis, and we went to his grave the other day in Lubbock, Texas, and his tombstone, all it says is this, songwriter. I really enjoyed doing that with y'all. That was fun to go there yeah. and see Buddy and we Buddy saw Holly's. Buddy Holly's grave. Yeah. And uh, this is the coolest thing. Uh, my buddy Jimmy Snow, Hank Snow's boy, is still living. He's Elvis's age. And he's the only one still living that traveled with Elvis in a car in 1955 and 56. He's the only one that's still living that drove around with Elvis in a car. And he said, my dad, Hank Snow, and Colonel Tom Parker gave me an envelope to fly to Lubbock, Texas. And he said, I got there, and my dad was coming later on another plane. He said, I got there first, so I walked into the dressing room, and Elvis was standing there, and I said, hey, my dad and Colonel Tom Parker wants you to have this envelope. And uh, he said, what's your name? And he said, I'm Jimmy Snow. I'm Hank's boy. And uh, he said, I looked at him and said, hey, man, are you wearing eye makeup? <laughs> and Elvis goes, yeah, man, it brings my eyes out. That's right. So that night, Jimmy said, all the girls went crazy over him. And he said, so the next night, I started wearing eye makeup. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and so this is the funniest thing. He said, but that show in Lubbock that night, this young boy came up and said, Elvis, I'm your biggest fan in the whole wide world. And he said, me and my band are here. Can we just open up for you and do two songs? And Elvis looked at Jimmy and he goes, Man, I ain't got no problem with that. You, what do you think? He said, yeah, let him do it. That was Buddy Holly. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so anyway, um, they were driving down the road, and Elvis was sitting over there smoking a cigar, and Jimmy was driving. And Elvis goes, hey, Jimmy, you know that song you got out on RCA? And Jimmy goes, yeah, why? And he goes, I want to record that song. And and Jimmy goes, Elvis, that's my new record. What are you talking about? You know what the song was? Treat me like a fool. Treat me mean and cruel. Jimmy Snow did that. And Elvis, somehow he heard through Jimmy's version of it. And we all know what happened to that song. But anyway, enough of that. So let's hey, do Dad, that was song. really daggone cool for you and the band and I and Garen to go see Buddy Holly's grave. I mean, yes, it and was. Mac Davis. That was a blessing uh, that I'll never uh, forget. And you know, the guy there that portrayed is. him, Dad, the guy that portrayed him in that movie, uh, was one of your biggest fans. Who's that? Yeah, uh, good old what's his name? That was uh, <laughs> who was it? Uh, Gary Busey. Oh yeah, Gary Busey. Yeah, he loves your music. That's uh, yeah. that's really dead gum cool. You hey, know let's know uh, who's make, listening to you. Let's anyway, make welcome Mr. John Cook to the stage. Wow, here, we got some John. tips for the band. Thank Come the Lord. Here, hey, <laughs> Woo. hey, it's a Saturday night in Red Boiling Springs, yeah, and don't run baby. away if you want to sing karaoke after the show me and the boys are going to stay here and do it i'm going to sing some of my favorite things that i love to sing that i normally don't do on the show hey ronnie dane i didn't do it be careful swinging the camera around tonight we've got at least two in here on the witness protection program. Oh, oh lord man. here we go with that yeah. all right i gotta read that sign that says you will be on camera <laughs> <laughs> okay the two ladies on the front row here from Kentucky. I love these girls. Kentucky! She said she's been coming to see me since she was 14 years old. Well, they would love to hear hurting. Hurtin'. They've tipped the band $20 tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that song. Thank you. What's the name? Hurting. No, what's the name of the folks? One of those you young don't ladies. Know? I can't Cheryline. see. Is that Kathy? Cheryline. Who is that? No, Kathy's sitting right over there. On the front I can't there. see. I'm sorry. Right here, right there. Who? Nita? Is that Nina? Okay. Nita? Yes. Is and, her, and her lovely sister. Charlene. What you got, John? All right. Winder, Georgia. Winder, Georgia. Shirley Sleeper. Shirley. Shirley Sleeper. And by it, the way, that is spelt S-L-E-E-P-E-R. Shirley Sleeper. Yep, sure is. She sleeps a lot. She has tipped the band $25 Thank tonight. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. Thank you. 
And Miss Shirley would love to hear you're going to ruin my bad reputation. Oh, we just did that, Shirley. You missed it. That's for she you. You probably got it. I just didn't okay. get over here quick enough. From Indiana, Trudy Floyd. Trudy. Trudy, Trudy, Trudy. Trudy has tipped the band $25 tonight. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you. Hey, and Miss Trudy wants to hear Hurtin' too. Hurtin'. So that's two. Trudy. That's a song that I wrote not too long ago. I love that song, by the way. Thank Bowling you. Green, Kentucky's watching tonight. Wanda DeBasher. Wanda. 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 Wanda's tipped the band $25. Thank you, Miss Wanda. Wanda. And she wants to hear Don't. 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 That's nice. an Elvis song. All right. Our queen and king of country in Ohio is watching tonight. Betty and Jackie Thomas has tipped the band $50. Thank you, thank you. And I don't know what they got going on, but this is two nights in a row. They want to hear Bedroom Eyes. Bedroom Eyes. I thought we did that last night. Last yeah, night. I did that for Jim and Suzanne. Last yeah. yeah. That was last, last night. night. They want to hear it again tonight. <laughs> okay. Deb Oaks from Virginia is watching. Deb. Hey, Deb. And she has tipped the band $20. Thank you very much. She wants to hear hurting too. Oh. Must be a lot of hurting going on tonight. <laughs> All right. The Deckard sisters the Deckard has tipped sisters. the band $50 tonight. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The, the down queen in, of the bell bottoms. That's what I call her. <laughs> down in Florida. Jerry Gunter is watching tonight. Jerry. And she has tipped the band $50. Well, thank you, darling. And she would like to hear older women make oh. better lovers. Oh, we ain't even done that tonight. Nope. Wow. All right. And a few minutes ago when I announced John and Dina Harris's tip of 100, yeah. I forgot to tell you, Wade, they would love to hear you do bar stool number three tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, and wow. they want to hear Ronnie sing Slinky. Oh. <laughs> slinky, <laughs> slinky, you're so fine. Slinky, I'm so glad you're mine. I ain't doing that song. It's a, no, that's a real naughty song. All right. I ain't doing that. I, South Carolina. South Carolina. Linda Bell. Miss Linda. She's tipped the band $200. Oh, oh, oh Miss oh, Linda. Linda. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Linda. You. Thank you. All right, I guess we're going to have to hear hurting or we're going to be hurting. Okay. 615-699-3141. <laughs> Please tip this band. Thank you all. And by the way, I wrote this song as if I were 11 years old, 1960-61. And I thought, I want to write a song like every song I heard back in those days. And this is the song that I wrote. And it sounds like every one of those songs and I guess that's why I love it so much. And I never will forget, they played it on WSM 650. And as I was walking out, the girl, Devin O'Day, she said, Ronnie, everybody is calling in wanting to hear this song again. So I hope you like it as much as those folks that heard it on WSM the first time. It's called Hurtin'. Hey, Dad, let's do this for Trudy, Deb, Larry Floyd and Anita and Shirlene. Is that right? Front row, okay. baby. In the front, front row. row. Wow. Okay. And I hope that I can remember these words because every song that I write, most of the times, I can't remember. <laughs> Cause we
And then you left me without warning Simply tore my world apart Now I'm hurt You won't believe how I am hurt Hurt Over you Oh, oh, I'm hurt I see you out in a go one, two, three. I see you out and I go crazy every time you pass me by. I forgot the rest of these words, but you'll never know why. Now I you won't believe how I am. got through it and remembered most of it. I just messed up a little bit, but you probably don't remember the words like me either, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, Dad. But I love that song. Thank you. Hey, yes. if you don't mind, for Deb Bowman. Hey, Debbie. Let's do a little In the Ghetto. All right, just a little of it. All right. My friend Mac Davis, the last time I seen him was in Nashville just before he died. And I said, Mac, I want to remind you of something. He said, what's that, Ronnie? And I said, in 1977, I came on to an airplane in my jogging outfit with my ball cap on. And you came to the back of the plane and you said, son, if you're going to be a star, you need to wear the tightest jeans you can find. Tight. I said, Mac, I'm going to be honest with you. When I travel, I don't like wearing jeans. He said, if you're going to be out in public, son, and you're going to be a star, you need to do what I'm telling you. So he got up, and I was looking down the hallway, and he had the tightest-ass jeans I ever seen in my life. And I went, I ain't wearing that kind of stuff. And he looked at me, and he said, I didn't tell you that. And I said, okay, let me just tell you something. I am your biggest fan. And if you told me that, trust me, I remember so then somebody took a picture of us and we are laughing our butts off. And I wish y'all could see that picture and that's just before he died. But anyway, here's a little bit of this song. What a genius of a songwriter. Wow. As the snow flies On a cold and gray Chicago morn And another little baby child is born In the ghetto In the ghetto and his mama cries For if there's one thing that she don't need It's another hungry mouth to feed In the ghetto In the ghetto And that's all I'm gonna do with that song But we all know that song and I love that song Mac Davis Wow I showed you that picture of his gravestone All it says is songwriter hey dad so i got to thinking the only yep. thing i'm gonna have on my tombstone is nut 
nut. <laughs> nut. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to say, hey, as you are now, so once was I. Follow me. Mm. Hey, yeah. Dad, you know what I'm going to put on mine, don't you? What? Y'all, I told y'all I was sick. <laughs> Hey, Dad, uh, if we're going to be in trouble with Jerry Gunter. <laughs> I told y'all I, I was sick. <laughs> Ronnie, my neighbor did put that on his headstone. You're kidding. Oh, you wanted that, and it's on it. I told y'all yeah, I was sick. Was, I can't talk now. Hey, uh, <laughs> Jerry Gunter, we're going to be in trouble if we don't do okay. older women. All right, older women make better lovers. <laughs> And that, like I told you, a seven-year-old girl last week, she goes, hey, Mr. Ronnie, can I sing you my favorite song? I said, well, what is it? She was standing right there, and she goes, older women make better lovers. And she sang the fire out of it. She knew every yep. word. All right, first number one record written by my friend Jamie O'Hara, who passed away last Two, January. One, Jamie, this two, song is for you. Thank go. you for this song. Older women. Are beautiful lovers. I said older women. What about it, Linda? They understand. Lord help us. I've been around some and I have discovered that older women know just how to please a man. Everybody seems to love those younger women from 18 on up to 25 what about it Tim? hey i love them too but i'm telling you learning how to really love takes a little time older women older women are beautiful love ain't it right kathy i said older women older women they understand I've been around some I've been around I have discovered Have you been around? That older women know just how to please the man Honey, don't you worry about getting older That's right no, Hey girl Those young girls ain't got a thing on you, mama Not one thing And it takes some living to get good at giving Giving love is just where you could teach them a thing or two Older women Older women Are beautiful lovers Are beautiful lovers I said older women Older women They understand They do I've been around son I've been around I have this son Have you been around? That older women know just how to please a man Older women, older women, are beautiful lovers, a beautiful lovers. I said older women, older women, they understand. When I look at you, I've been I feel some, like I'm back in 1968. That older women know just how to please a man. Older women are better. Yeah. Hey, here, Dad. And now, Ryan Dane, here's my friend Josh to come up here because Josh was born a pound and a half. Think about that. He, like a stick of butter. He was born, he was a pound and a half. You could have held him in your hand. You can't do that now. Josh, come here, little buddy. This is my little buddy, Josh. It don't get no better than this. Come on, buddy. And as you can see with these sideburns by George, he likes Ernest Tubb. Yeah. <laughs> Ernest Tubb? <laughs> hey. I love this boy, I'm telling you. And uh, I want y'all to listen to this because the first time he came up here, uh, he, uh, he said, April the 1st, he said, Mr. Ronnie, can I sing you an Elvis song? And I said, what do you want to sing? And he said, I want to sing That's All Right, Mama. And I said, we'll do it. He wore it out. So it amazes me the people that Elvis reached and reaches through. 
like this young boy right here. And he's 22? Yes, sir. 22. And when he was born, he really was a pound and a half. And how much you weigh now? I have no clue. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Josh. Josh, too much what your mama's country cooking. I, I told you. I said, Josh, didn't I get after you tonight? Yep. What did I tell you? Eat healthier. Eat healthy. You know, we ain't got no spare parts. Okay. Nope. Anyway, here's my friend Josh to sing. I know he's he's not going to sing an Ernest Tubb song. He's going to sing an Elvis song. And when he does it, he does it right. It amazes me. Watch and listen. All right. So, oh, Steve. That's right, Mama. So Steve requested, uh, he requested two songs from me, the first one I'm going to do. Uh, you ready, Steve? Yes, we're ready. That's right. a song, you say? That's right, Mama. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you do, well, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. Well, Mama, she done told me. Papa done told me too. So that girl you fool, she ain't no good for you. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. I'll play it, wait. Yeah, baby. That's all right. Uh. That's all right. Uh. Oh, I'm leaving town a bit. I'm leaving town for sure. Well, then you won't be bothered with me hanging around your door. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right now, bother. Any way you do. I tell I did did it, did it. That's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. That's right now, Mama. Any way you do. Oh! Yeah, baby. All right. So. I had a Josh. conversation with old Steve, and I said, Steve. We had a conference. Got a conference. <laughs> All right. So I talked to Steve, and I said, hey, Steve. I said, I want to do a song it was did in his later years. And I picked up the good old YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. And um, I said, Steve, I need your help. So let's go back to 1977, Steve. It was in C. I got a very special reason to do this song, folks. Let's go back to 1977. Ready? Oh, my love, my darling, I want a good for your touch alone. Lonely time And time Goes by So slowly And time Can do So much Are you Still mine God, 
feed your love to me. Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea, to the open arms of sea. Else lonely rivers cry, wait for me, wait for me. I'll be coming home, wait for me, my lover, my darling, my darling. I want good for your kiss alone, lonely time. Pick it up, Steve. And time goes by so slowly, and time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. Ooh, I need your love. God, uh, speed your love to. Josh, all right. All right, Josh, Melody, love you, Steve. Elvis. Thank you, Josh. All right, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Josh. Good job, Josh. Unbelievable. I love this boy. Give him another hand, brother Josh. All right, Josh. Come on, Josh. Hey, Dad. Yes. It's time for a break. Let's for take a break, band. and we'll Let's be right back with a brand new show because we never know what we're going to do, and I love it like that. Somebody wanted to hear "Don't." Somebody wanted to hear "Get This." Brown eyed girl. They wanted to hear smoky places. Smoky places. Just pretend. Just pretend. Naturally. We can do it. Can crazy do it. legs. They want crazy to hear crazy legs. legs. You wow, you're song? pulling them out of the hat, but I love <laughs> that. We can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a song that Dad did. When did you do that, Dad? Crazy legs. Uh, I did that back in 1982 on an album called all tied up well here's brother steve shepherd to close this segment out yeah. with a song off of his brand new album check this out linda pay attention which one would you like to request off of that album right i would like for you to do my producer buddy killen's number one million seller that he wrote cut number two cut number do you two. have your cd up here uh well there's three ladies <laughs> That, oh, yeah. There yeah. it is, right there. All if right. you would like one of those CDs, yes. I have them back there at the table after the show. And the title of the album is Stranger on the Shore and yes. 11 More. But Num this song right here is as good to me and my heart as Stranger on the Shore because right. you do it so well. My producer, Buddy Killen, wrote this song in the not what was it, Steve? Sixty or sixty-one? I think it was sixty or sixty-one. And what was the name? They called that album an, by a certain name, but I think it was Anita Kerr. And well, Steve actually, Steve. it was the Little Dippers. Dippers yes. The Little Dippers. Here is Steve Shepard with "Forever." Yes. And Mr. Wade Bernard starts this off. This was the original record. We tried to play it and do it like Mr. Buddy Killen wrote it.
Kau forever, Mr. Steve Shepard. Thank you. Come on, let's hear for Steve. Come on. Thank you. Let's hear for Wade. All right, yeah. Wade. Let's oh hear for goodness. Ronnie Dean. Oh. Hey, thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. What a beautiful thank audience you. out there, uh, Ronnie Dean, tonight. And what a blessing it is like to a, be. With looks all like these a bed folks. of roses. Yeah. I, I see maybe one old thorn out there, but anyway. <laughs> no, that's me up here, the thorn, yeah. Now, what a blessing it is to be with everyone all over God's creation tonight. Yeah. Wow, this is so daggum awesome. Hey, thanks to everyone who's calling in tonight, tipping the band. If you're not able to, don't worry about it. We're just thankful to the Lord that we're able to bring you these shows all over the world. And that is what it is. And uh, Garen, Ronnie Garen McDowell the third, is back there in the back. He'll be selling merchandise during our short, short break. Then we're going to come back and do about two or three more numbers, and then we'll see you next weekend on Halloween weekend. You know, I can't uh, decide if I'm going to be Marshall Dillon or a big pumpkin. Which one should I be, folks? I think uh, John Paul is going to be Marshall Dillon. He is. Well, we can't yeah. have two Marshall I Dillons. I think you're going to have to be Festus. Fe hey, I could be Festus. Yeah, I could do that. You reckon we could put a two yeah, before well, down that one Steve, leg? Steve, you know, I don't know, man. What are we going to do? Yeah, i tell it. you what. That's it. Yeah, I think I've watched a little bit too much gun smoke. Well, yeah, there, Doc. I t hey, when him and Doc, you know, they get in those arguments, I laugh my butt off. Yeah. I'm getting old. I watch gun smoke and go to bed early when I'm not working. What is wrong with me? I'll tell you what. All right, folks, I uh, love you guys. Uh, don't forget to tip the band if you're enjoying the show tonight, if you can. If you can't, no problemo at all. And uh, I tell you what, make sure you book yourself a great room and a meal because we're going to be here all throughout this rest of the year and next year. I just booked two shows in January today, sneak preview for you guys in Mississippi. So all you Mississippi Ronnie McDowell fan family members, look out because we're on our way down there in January for two nights. We've got so many great shows coming up next year in Florida Oh, my goodness. Dad's going to choke me. He says, you know, I love to work. I want to work as much as you want to work. And I tell you what, we are going to be working. Him and Exile are going to be out in West Texas next year. Exile, it's going to be fun. So uh, don't go nowhere. About four and a half minutes. We're going to take a short, short break so we can take a breather. And we'll be right back. I see all those comments there. Yeah, Matt Dillon. Everybody's telling me to be Matt Dillon instead of Festus. I don't think I'd look good as Festus. I'm too tall for Festus. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Love you guys.
All right, I tell you what, uh, we've had some requests right now from our good buddy, Mr. John Harris. He wants to hear Wade do a song right now the, that I play downtown a lot uh, on uh, Broadway and at Music City Bar and Grill. Wade, which song are we doing, buddy? Well, Tell John me. and Dina requested this, uh, a tune from my new CD. It's a thing I wrote called Barstool Number 3. Hey. Not number two, Ronnie Dean, number three. What is it? Barstool Number 3. Oh, number three. Oh. Can you let me find that? Oh, you can play it. <laughs> Wade, uh, do you have this on one of your CDs? Yeah, this is on the brand new CD. Hey, hey, hey Ronnie Dean, I want, we want to ask John and Dina out there. Uh, they could text us or whatever a little later on if they did get their new van and made it home all right. Yeah, they uh, did make it home. Yeah, they made it home. They called. And, yeah. uh, that was the most strangest thing on his van, the reason. I've never heard of that. That his van broke down. The, the, what was it? The crank sensor. Yeah. Was, the sensor was blocked <laughs> by, by a, a fly. dead fly. By a fly. <laughs> Of all things. Wow. wow. By a fly. Can you believe that? That's what it was. You know, usually flies, uh, you know, they'll get around your food and stuff, but to stop an automobile, oh, my goodness. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, I guess it happens. This John, Honky Tonk Dina, Country for John and Dean. We love you guys. This bar stool, it sure looks high after a double scotch. And my love just walked right out. Life is on the rocks. So pour that magic drink and make me smile again. Double me up one more time until the heart aches in. Tell my friends I'm doing time on bar stool number three. Yeah, not to worry, bartender Joe, he takes good care of me. One more double something, I still see her face from bar stool number three at Big Joe's play. Well, I always tip my glass until there's not a drop. And when it's time to go, Joe, he points to the clock. He'll pour me a one last drink as one more memory leaves. he double me up a one more time at bar stool number three. Tell my friends I'm doing time on bar stool number three. And not to worry, bartender Joe, he takes good care of me. One more double something, no time left to waste. From bar stool number three at Big Joe's play. At bar stool number three at Big Joe's play. There you go, John. <laughs> John and Dina up in the Ohio. Wade Bernard. Thank you. Wade Bernard, bar stool number three. Hey, you know what? Kathy is out there, and she always likes to hear a Conway song. Which one you want to hear? What did I do last night? I don't even remember. Go ahead. I did. Uh, Oh, love to lay you down. Okay, you want to hear that? Lay down? Yeah, why not? All right, for Kathy out there and all the folks that like a little Conway Twitty. I'm going to give it the all-American try to sing this song and play the drums at the same time. Here we go. There's a lot of ways of saying what I want to say to you. 
There's songs and poems and promises and dreams that might come true. But I won't speak of starry skies, moonlight on the ground. I'll come right out and tell you I'd still love to lay you down. Lay you down and softly whisper pretty love words in your ear. Lay you down and tell you all the things my woman loves to hear. I'll let you know how much it means just having you around. Oh, darling, how I'd love to lay you down. There's so many ways your sweet love made this house into a home. You've got a way of doing little things that turn me on. Like standing in the kitchen in your faded cotton gown. With your hair all up in curls, I'd still love to lay you down. Lay you down and softly whisper. Pretty love words in your ear Lay you down and tell you All the things my woman loves to hear I'll let you know how much it means Just having you around Oh darling, how I'd love to lay you down When a whole lot of Decembers Are showing in your face Your auburn hair is fading and silver takes its place You'll be just as lovely And I'll still be around And if I can I know that I'd still love to lay you down Lay you down and softly whisper Pretty love words in your ear Lay you down and tell you All the things my woman loves to hear I'll let you know how much it means just having you around Oh darling, how I'd love to lay you down Lay you down and softly whisper Pretty love words in your ear Lay you down and tell you all the things my woman wants to hear I'll let you know how much it means just having you around Darling, how I'd love to lay you down Lay you down and softly whisper Pretty love words in your ear Lay you down and tell you all the things my woman loves to hear I'll let you know how much it means just having you around Oh, darling, how I'd love to lay you down down and softly whisper pretty love words in your ear lay you down and tell you all the things my woman wants to hear i'll let you know how much it means just having you around oh darling how i love to lay you down oh darling how i For Kathy out there that uh, comes to see Dad every time we are here at home base at the Donahoe and Ronnie McDowell Entertainment Center, please make welcome for a couple of more songs to close out the night, Curb Records recording artist, Mr. Ronnie McDowell. Live and in color. Yes, i tell you what. Uh, so we've had so many requests. This girl over here in the bell bottom, she wants to hear Brown Eyed Girl. Hey, we well, can do Wade that. Does, Wade that. does that. I don't do that. But Wade. here's a song that we did do in 1985. If you were around in 85, you heard this song. It was called, I'd Make Love to You in a New York Minute. And I, now wait, I never will forget this. When I was recording this song, I'm at the sound shop. John, pay attention. I'm at the sound shop and I'm recording my vocal for this song in a New York minute. So I'm singing away. I'd make love to you in a New York minute. And this face poked around. I remember that. And it was Gary Busey. 
And uh, he just done the Buddy Holly story. Yep. He, and uh, so I come out of the sound booth and I said, Gary Busey, what? Uh, he goes, Ronnie, I'm here because I like that last song you did, All Tied Up. I said, really? I said, you mean you listen to my song? He goes, Ronnie, we get country music in Los Angeles too. <laughs> So I never even thought about that. But if you think about it, you know, movie wow. stars, they listen to country music too if they oh, like yeah. it. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so Gary Busey, he loved this song right here. He said, I'm here tonight because I hear you're recording a song called I'd Make Love to You in a New York Minute. And I said, don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and here's that song that went like this. If you were around in 85, I was, I was 34. Two, back then. one, two, three, four. Ever since I've known you, you belong to someone else. If we never talked about romance, hey, well, I think. It's time I told you, Mama, the way I've always felt And what I'd do if I got the chance hey, I'd make love to you in New York City Take my Texas time doing it I'd do you every way but wrong I'd make love to you in New York City Take my Texas time to it and I prove that in my arms is where you belong. Yeah. So don't misunderstand me. I wouldn't steal you from your man. But if he's ever dumb enough to leave, well, you know. Thank y'all very much, and thank y'all for hanging around and dancing. Too it's, much fun. I'm telling you, we're having a ball. Somebody wanted to hear this song right here. Uh, it's a very intense song again, but I uh, promised that I would do it. And then we will do Brown Eyed Girl for that lovely bell bottom dancer girl over there. But, <laughs> but right now, somebody wanted to hear Don't. It's not my song. It's an Elvis Presley song. But without Elvis, I would not be here tonight, what? Linda. Think about it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here tonight singing these songs. And uh, when I was nine years huh? old, 1959, I heard this song, and I went, oh, my God, what a song. I was nine. <laughs> I was nine years old, and I heard this. And I was so, but when I was three, I heard Hank Williams singing Your Cheating Heart. And I knew right then what I wanted to do. But then, when I heard 
Elvis Presley doing this song right here. Then I really knew what I wanted to do by George. So from Hank Williams to Elvis Presley, pay attention, girls. <laughs> I love to interrupt people that are talking. <laughs> I think it's the bubbly. <laughs> what, are you drinking bubbly? Right, Dave? I Sir, heard, are you drinking bubbly? No, bubbly. I not heard a me. bottle break. Oh, no, it wasn't me. I think it broke all, all over right. The so floor. anyway, here's that song from 1959, and my friend George Klein, Elvis Presley's buddy, for 42 years till Elvis passed away. George told me he said Elvis heard this song by Lieber and Stoller. Don't talk. Don't. That's what you say Each time that I hold you this way When the night grows cold And I want to hold you Baby, don't say Hey, Thank Dad, wait a minute. Wait just the, a minute. Oh. Hey, let's uh, invite right now the owner of this proud oh, establishment, John, Mr. John, John come on up here. Cook. Oh, I love it when John comes up. Hey, Dad, guess how many folks you've reached just tonight? Hey, wait. All right, Ryan Dane, no more music, nothing. How many folks have we reached tonight all over the world? Tonight, you have reached over 12,000 people. Whoa, tonight. all over the world. And last night, including last night, over 24,000 wow, people. So I what a blessing that. that is right here at home base at the Donahoe Ronnie McDowell Entertainment Center. We invite you to come out here and visit and hang out with us. Let's make welcome the owner of this proud establishment, Mr. John Cook, everybody. Hey, as my friend Jerry Clower would say, knock him out, John. I thought he'd say, <laughs> Hey, That's guess what, what next weekend? Oh, Halloween, I'm gonna be Zorro. What are you gonna be? It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> it's a secret. Hey, it's coming Friday and Saturday night, October 28th and 29th. Yep. The annual Ronnie McDowell Halloween weekend party. Man. Plus, Sandy and John Paul's getting married here on Saturday. And I'm going to give Sandy away. She said, 
you're my little brother, so I'm going to give her away. And we have a surprise for her and John Paul, so I'm excited about next weekend. And Barney is going to be here next week. Yeah, Barney weekend. is going to be here. If you Barney. watch the Andrew Griffith Show, Barney's nip going it, to be nip here. Nip it, nip it. So come on to Red Bull in Springs. we got plenty of tickets <laughs> left, plenty of food, a little short on rooms, but we can feed you and entertain you. So call Catherine, make your reservations for the tickets at 615-699-3141. And all the way from North Carolina, Tracy Lynch is watching tonight. Hey, Tracy. Tracy. And she would like to tip the band $20. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. And there's a message here, 38 Special. She's the 38 Special. Hey, guess what? She's a lot better than any little old 22. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, who's your buddy from Texas that was here last weekend? Texas? Texas. Hmm. Kitty Hawk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Arthur. Arthur. Arthur has Arthur. called in a $25 Thank tip you, to the Thank band. You, Thank you. And about halfway, I believe it's his anniversary. Really? Happy anniversary, well, happy Arthur. happy anniversary to Art and his lovely wife. And I got to say, Art, she makes your ass look really good. She has a pet donkey. <laughs> hey, and uh, I guess this must be a song. I've just cut myself on a piece of broken heart. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a really good record for me. I just cut myself on a piece of her broken heart. And it, I love that song. Yeah. As I drown my cigarette in my last can of beer. I love that song. Thank you for requesting that. Pam Delp has tipped the band $50 tonight. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. And she's thank looking you, forward to being here next weekend. Oh, thank you, Pam. Pam's man. coming next weekend. Awesome. $50 tip. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Ronnie, are we giving that shirt away for a good tip No, tonight? I can't give this away. My friend Michael down in Louisiana would kill me if I okay. gave that. No. Sun so, Records shirt no. away. What have you got? We can uh, tip off here. Well, I would say tip. my underwear, but I don't wear none. No. Hey, I'm Dad, like, how about those hey, shoes? Hey, I'm like John Anderson. I'm just a swinging <laughs> Oh, <guy>. no. <laughs> hey, the, oh, my God. We're going to. Oh, oh, we're still a little God. ways away just from making the band their normal weekend. Please call Catherine at 615-699-3141. About to forget it. <laughs> hey, we're you got, getting senile over here. Yes, though. I am. What happened to that Ronnie and Conway poster? Well, there it is right there. Hey, yeah. somebody come. Give us a good tip. We'll send that to you. If you hey, let's buy, show that. If you let's will show buy it. that painting, well, it's not a painting. It's a photograph. No. Yeah, let me have that. Would you do that, Let's please? show that on and the And by air. the way, uh, this is my favorite photograph that I've ever taken in my lifetime. And I would give anything to know what me and Conway were laughing about. We both look like we're about 10 sheets in the wind. But Conway did not drink. He caught me in Knoxville one night at the Coliseum. <laughs> Forgive me, but I was backstage drinking a beer, and Conway looked at me, and he goes, what are you doing with that? I said, well, Conway, I drink a beer every now and then. He goes, that has never crossed my lips. I said, so you're trying to tell me you never drank alcohol in your life? And he goes, nope, my dad was a riverboat captain. He died an alcoholic, mm -hmm. and that's never crossed my lips. So I've always had so much respect, again, for Conway Twitty because he never drank a drop of alcohol. So anyway, if you would like to have this, call Brother John and Miss Catherine, John's aunt, who has taken control of the reins over at the desk. The tip, 615-699-3141. This would look great on the Purdue sisters' wall. 615-699-3141. Who's the Purdue sisters? It's part of the witness protection program. <laughs> I can't tell you. We've got two of them here tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, that's my favorite picture I've ever made in my life. That's awesome.
Conway Tweedy was not only my mentor, my friend, and my icon, but he was like my dad. Boy, he'd get on to me. I'm telling you, he'd he'd go, "You are That's not a, a comedian." Right there, <laughs> but I tell I tell you what, I, don't you miss that. Conway Tweedy? Can you imagine? He was only 59 years young when he passed away. But I was only in my early 40s, and I thought he was older than Methuselah. But you know, when you're in grade school and you see a high school senior, you think they they look old. So now if I see a high school senior, they look like little kids, which they are. But anyway, hey, Dad, would you sing, uh, since we have some birthdays out on the... Sure. Uh, stream tonight would you sing a little bit of happy birthday darling who happy birthday darling oh yeah hi all right nope. keep me the key <laughs> happy. happy there you go yeah do it happy birthday darling i've no presents no fancy cake but I hope I make you happy with everything I take. Happy birthday, Donna. Now here's Brown Eyed Girl by oh. Brother Wade Bernard. Wade's going to change from the guitar. No, no, no. Oh, oh, this is what you would do. All right, here's Brother Wade Bernard. And this guy has more repertoire than me. <laughs> I thought I knew every song in the world. Nope. Wade beats me when I was a junior in high school. He was already playing in a band. How old were you then? A 13. What? 13. He six, was 13. 66. <laughs> and I was a junior. He was all, that was 1967. Hey, Dad, guess what? Yes. Guess what yesterday was? What? Uncle Kenny's 70th birthday, wow. and I was in a band with, with your brother, my uncle, Uncle Ricky, with uh, Ricky McDowell and the Strawberry Band. We were touring around truck, truck stops in Middle Tennessee when I was six years old. I know. And I was, playing, I was playing like, uh, oh my God, like, like Queen stuff and Leonard Queen. Skinner. And Metallica. No, we didn't play no Metallica. <laughs> but I tell you what, I tell you what, they, they, uh, Ricky, he loved to play like uh, Green Onions and oh, I know. all that stuff. My little and, brother was yeah. the most talented little boy that I've ever known in my life. And that's wow. a God's truth. He was born without a thumb. Because in 1954, the doctor who birthed me told my dad, and my mother, you do not need to have another baby. It will kill you. So they had her to drink something to get rid of the baby. Oh. It didn't get rid of him. But he was born without a thumb and other things. But he was an amazing musician. He was the most amazing, talented wow. human. Because even though God took those away from him, everything else was through the roof. I mean, yeah. he called me up one day and he goes, hey, Ronnie. Uh, I just got me a fiddle, and I want to play Orange Blossom Special. And I said, Ricky, that's the hardest <laughs> instrument on the planet. Two weeks later, he was playing Orange Blossom Special. On the show. Yeah. yeah. He was he was way before was Paul McCartney doing that kind of stuff. Man. Yeah, he, and he wrote songs, and he sang so beautiful. And I miss him so much. And he was the sweetest little baby. Yeah. I remember him so much. That was so much fun with him and Uncle Kenny and Jody. Yes. We had uh, Ricky McDowell and the Strawberry Band. That was my first. That was so much fun, you know. And my brother Jerry yeah. is not too far from here. That's in right. Rehab. He had a brain aneurysm and a stroke. Yep. And a heart attack. Westmoreland Care Center. Westmoreland Care Center. But I was with him yesterday. Guess what? A week from Monday, he gets to go home. And I said, wow. yeah. And I said, and his name is Jerry, but we all have nicknames. You don't want to know mine, but his is Jetty. And I said, Jetty, you are the toughest old codger I've ever seen in my life. You've lived through a brain aneurysm. Most people die of that. You've lived through a heart attack. 
to a stroke. About but two million gets, miles on a bus, too. Oh, yeah. He drove my bus for years and years, but he's going home a week from Monday, and his nurse, she is so beautiful, and he is taken up with her like you would not I think believe. she's going home with him. Yeah. <laughs> he hey, Dad. My, yeah. my favorite nickname on the bus back in those days was, was Greg's because uh, Greg's was, what was it, Wormy? Wormy. Yeah. I love that, Greg Martin. But what I was Doug's? To... Did Doug have one? No, Doug didn't have one. What was I... yours, Dad? You do... <laughs> Homer. Yeah. Just think the of the Simpsons. The reason why my nickname is Homer is because Homer. at my office, I would answer the phone. I didn't want nobody to know who it was. And I said, hello, this is Homer, the cleanup guy. <laughs> so anyway, they all know me as Homer, and that's okay. But anyway... Greg Martin called my brother the other day, and Greg, I love you and thank you for doing that. Yeah. But him and my brother Jerry were big buddies, and so was Doug. And uh, I got a story I want to tell you about what Doug did to my brother. <laughs> Wife. I'm going to tell you this, as he does brown-eyed girl. I'm literally going to tell you what your husband did to my brother uh -oh. as my brother was driving the bus. Uh -oh. What he did to oh, my brother. You ain't going to believe this. Hey, let's I'm go to break to... right now. Thank no, y'all for joining us. I want you to do Brown Eyed Girl right now. Come on. <laughs> do it. Van Morrison, Wade Bernard. Oh, boy. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came Out in the hollow Playing a new game Laughing and a running Hey, hey Skipping and a jumping All along the waterfall Whoa Our hearts were thumping at you My brown-eyed girl You my brown eyed girl Whatever happened Tuesdays and so slow Going down the old man with a transistor radio Standing in the sunlight laughing hiding behind a rainbow's wall Slipping and a sliding all along the waterfall with you, my brown eyed girl. You, my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 Hard to find my way Now that I'm on my own I saw you just the other day Oh my, you have grown Cast my memory back there, Lord Sometimes I'm overcome thinking about Making love in the green, green grass Behind the stadium with you my brown-eyed girl You my brown-eyed girl Do you remember when Here yeah, we used to sing Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 
so much hey. for joining us. Did you have a good time tonight? Let me hear you. One more time. Dale. 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 All right. Thank you so much for coming out here to home base at the Ronnie McDowell Entertainment Center at the Donahoe. Thanks to everyone who's called in tonight. What a blessing. We appreciate it so very much. We will be back here next week weekend so please join us here dad gummit we're gonna have a good time i'll tell you what and uh we are going to be dressing up next weekend steve what you say you're going to dress up as i'm going to dress there's a guy on the front of my album yeah what's his name i'm going to dress exactly like that guy his middle name is lewis <laughs> excellent excellent <laughs> his name is steve right. lewis i tell you what uh, wade what are you going to dress up as is it a surprise? or It'll have to be a surprise. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, we're going to dress up next weekend. i tell you what. We're just going to have a good old time. So uh, make sure you share, like, love. Please comment on this video. It takes uh, everyone to make these possible, and we appreciate it so very much. The band travels far and far away. Steve travels a couple hours away. So does Wade. And uh, I do, of course, and uh, we do this because we love the That's Ronnie right. McDowell fan family members. That's so right. That's we right. appreciate you guys as much as I see on the comments that you appreciate us. And that's why we keep doing these shows in between our regular tour dates. So we love you guys. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next weekend at the Ronnie McDowell Annual Halloween Festival. Man, it's going to be a spooky, awesome Friday, weekend. Friday so thank you all so much. We love y'all. Have a blessed evening. I'm going to leave the tip line open for just a little bit longer. If you enjoyed the show, please call that tip line if you're able to. Only, only, only if you're able to. Everyone that's done so, appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll see you next weekend. Good night, everyone. <laughs>